Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invites you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Me, in a few days is it going to be the finish of all 1950 and the beginning of that little bambino 1951. I'm going to hope this little fella is it going to turn out to be nicer than his papa? And is it going to make no more wars? Everybody is to live along. And in 1951, is it going to be so good? Everybody is going to want it to stay here for the next 100 of the years. <laughs> in America, Mamma Mia, New Year's is, a, is a something like Christmas. Only instead of exchanging presents, everybody is exchanging calendars. <laughs> so far, I'm a got a two dozen. <laughs> Funniest the one I'm a got is from Joe's pool room. That's to say, Happy New Year in the side of the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm a got a one from a diploma with a picture of a very pretty girl, which which I'm a thought I was going to hang in the window, but I didn't. Because with the, what the, she's wearing, if I'm hanging in the window, she's going to freeze it to death. <laughs> <laughs> then I also get the one from the bank. And for each day, they print the little words of advice like, Join our Christmas club now. Start the checking account today. Come in for personal loan. Let's make out that you will. <laughs> Mamma mia, if I'm going to listen to that the calendar, I'm going to close up my antique shop and I live in the bank. <laughs> oh, excuse, oh, excuse me, Mamma mia. I just to see is the time for my night school class, so I'm going to finish this a little late. <laughs> was the day after the Christmas, and all through the house... Hmm, so nice... It's nice outside, huh? But I'm going out in a little while because everybody's got a present, even the mouse. Oh, what a nice air, huh? Hey, hello, Astra. The children was sleeping, dreaming off in the hills. Papa was down the stairs figuring out how to pay the bills. <laughs> hey, hello, Officer Flanagan. Hey, Mr. Basco. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Postman. Hello, Mr. Basco. Glad I caught you. Here's a special delivery letter for you. Oh, huh? Special delivery? Mm. Oh, I better open up it, huh? How's the post office business? Oh, the same. People write. I walk. <laughs> Dear Mr. Basco, kindly arrange it to be at your home on a Wednesday evening, December 27th. An officer will visit you at that time. Yours very truly... Immigration Department. Mamma mia, Immigration Department. How about a hurry up? Hey, well, wait a minute, Mr. Basco. Where are you running? What's the trouble? Well, the trouble is, uh, I'm gonna know what's the trouble, and that's the trouble. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm hoping my night school class is gonna help me out. <laughs> Have a good dinner. All right, class, please. Let's come to attention. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco, 
Present. Mr. Harwood. Present. Mr. Olson. Present. Mr. Schultz. My presence you already got, so I'll just say here. <laughs> 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 yes, and thank you. Now, class, let's get on with our lesson in history. Mr. Horowitz, will you tell us who was Paul Revere? With pleasure. He was a great American patriot. And when did he live? All of his life. <laughs> Mr. Horowitz, give us the date. Date of his birth and death, please. Oh, he, he was born in 1700 and something, I think 1773. Uh, you're positive that Paul Revere was born in 1773? Uh-huh. Well, in that case, he was two years old when he warned the Americans the British are coming. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in a race like a fast two-year-old. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the correct answer. Mr. Basco, when was Paul Revere born? When was it? Huh? Oh, now, pay attention, Mr. Basco. Mr. Olson, can you tell us the answer? Miss. Spalding, I am surprised that you... <laughs> <laughs> Why, of course you know the answer. Will you tell it to us? I will be real happy to. Paul Revere lived from 1735 to 1818. And when did he die? <laughs> <laughs> Just don't be so funny. By Yingeny, if you studied half as hard as I do, you would have less use for stupid tomfoolery. <laughs> I resent that, Olsen. Tomfoolery is not stupid. He's much smarter than his brother, Jack Foolery. <laughs> all right, Mr. Schultz, all right. Mr. Olsen, you are absolutely correct on Paul Revere's date. Naturally. I like to be perfect in everything I do, Miss Balding. Whether that's memorizing a lesson or fixing an old chair. I consider my brain my greatest asset, and I handle it as gently as a smoothly running automobile. <laughs> Tell us, Olsen, how many miles does your brain get on a gallon? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz. Now, Mr. Basco. Huh? Mr. Basco, when Paul Revere excitedly raced on his horse, he was warning everyone of someone's coming. Will you please tell us who was coming? Immigration department. <laughs> Mr. Basco, what are you talking about? He said the British are coming. I don't know if he's a British or Irish, but he's from immigration department, and, and maybe, maybe, he, maybe he's coming to take me away. Here, here, read, read. This is the letter. Oh, here, let me see. Oh, oh, First oh, 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 Mr. Basco, there's nothing to be alarmed about. They're probably just coming for a routine checkup. Oh, you mean they're going to give me a physical? <laughs> no, no. If you're worried, I'll run down to the department and check for you. And I know someone who's a secretary there. I can run over and find out something. Your Hall, Luigi, ask any favor. I will run and do it too. Himmel, but everybody running, this ain't a night school, it's a flight school. <laughs> no, no, you are right. We, we are all jumping around on your society. That's right. Mr. Basco, there's nothing to worry about. Now, you be in your antique shop, and I'm sure there'll be just a few very ordinary questions which you can answer, and that'll be all. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm, I hope you're right, Miss Spalding. But it's still, I'm, I'm a can't to help away. No, well, perhaps we can figure out a way to help Luigi with the immigration department tomorrow. It's not necessary. Mr. Basco will show what a good American he is, and that's all there is to it. Yeah, that's it. Just that. While the immigration man is talking to Luigi, we could walk in, pretend we're strangers, and give Luigi a big build-up to show what a great American he's proven to be. Oh, oh that's a good idea. Well, the friends, uh, friends, you're making me feel very good, but... But well, you think uh, it's a good idea to do that? Uh? Well, sure, Luigi. It's a wonderful idea. Even though Olsen had something to do with us. Stop boring and smile. <laughs> well, uh, all right. <laughs> uh, that's right, smile. Be like me. Always happy. Always laughing. Autism <laughs> 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 is killing me. <laughs> my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pascari. How you feeling today, huh? Oh, I'm feeling the chippy as usual. <laughs> but I'm worried about you, little banana nose. <laughs> but to me? What do you mean? Well, the mailman has told me you got a bad letter from immigration department. Oh, well, it, well, I don't know worry, Pasquale. I'm already got advice from my night school class. Ooh, ooh. fine advice you're going to get it from your shipmates. 
Uh, let me see the letter. All right, then. Yeah. Eh, le deve stare a casa spasera e ufficiale. No, 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 Pasquale, eh, Pasquale. Why are you reading for in, in Italian? Well, I don't understand English so good. I just translate it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's bad, bad. Worse than a bad. It's a badder. <laughs> badder? Pasquale, what are you talking about? Then? Luigi, I hated to tell you these things, but it's a very bad news in this letter. You in the worst of trouble of your life. What do you mean? Luigi, you're going to be sent back to Italy by next week. Next? What? The... How do you know this, Pasquale? Well, look on the envelope, Luigi. You see what it's uh... say? You'll return in five days. <laughs> Mamma mia. But the why, Pasquale? Why, why? Why, 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 Luigi's a crook or a ladder? Could have been lots of reasons. The first, it could have be, uh, they got a balance in the budget. You heard of that? Oh, sure, sure. Well, yeah. you've been here two years, your life savings about $2. Yeah. The government knows that, and they don't like it. You ain't a saving enough, you a slacker. <laughs> yeah, but... But I had the government to know how much money I'm got. Oh, Luigi, every time you go to the bank and take out money, there's a bank guard peeking over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what? So what? So he's the biggest snitcher, that's what. <laughs> All of these guys, they belong to the FBI. The FBI? Sure, federal bank investigators. <laughs> <laughs> but, Luigi, the money or the budget wouldn't be so bad. Your real trouble is you ain't steady enough for risk. Huh? Sure. There's a one thing about the government there. Eh? They like a fellow who's got a responsibility. A family man with a deep roots in the ground. <laughs> but, Pasquale, how am I going to get in the ground by tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Pasquale, that's uh, too deep in the ground. <laughs> and I'm uh, no one to be buried. I'm uh, not talking about a bury. I'm uh, talking about a marriage. Well, a rose is uh, the same thing. <laughs> Luigi, I should wash my hands off your face for this, but I don't know. Is there something about you just beats me down to a pulp? I got a plan for you. Oh, Pasquale. I would appreciate this so much uh, if you would have helped me sure, out. Sure, sure, I know. But anyway, Mrs. Elaine is leaving her little baby with a rosa tomorrow night. Uh -huh. You see, Rosa is the babysitter. Uh -huh. Well, I bring a rosa and the baby in her hair, and when the immigration man comes, he sees you married with a baby. He thinks you are married a man with a responsibility, and you're safe. And, uh, and if I'm married, then are they not going to send me back? No, no. But uh, Pasquale... Pasquale, you promise that's no trick, huh? Immigration men is not going to be just as a piece, and I'm suddenly going to find out to myself I'm married. Luigi, how could you talk like that? When I play such a low down on me and a dirty trick like that on you, don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I promise it's not going to be. Well, you want a rose should help you out? What do you say, my son? Pasquale, for once in my life, I'm happy to say... Yes, Papa. Before we return to life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that you'll find helpful when you're doing your daily work. Every few hours, chew a stick of delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum. You see, chewing, especially chewing on a smooth, good piece of gum, gives you a feeling of comfort and satisfaction. It helps relieve pent-up tension so that you naturally feel better and work better. Then, too, the lively, real spearmint flavor of Wrigley Spearmint Gum tastes good and makes the chewing even more satisfying. So chew refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum while you work. You'll find it helpful and you'll enjoy it. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, immigration man is going to come here tonight 
And I'm not the two worried. First of all, Horowitz and Schultz. They're going to come and give me what do you call big build-up. And most of all, I'm going to look like happy married men with a baby. But Pasquale was just to come in and say, if I'm going to really look married, I'm should sure not look happy. I'm should sure have practiced looking broken and done. <laughs> Believe me, Mamma me, I'm gonna like to make up these Eliza, but but I'm would make any sacrifice to stay in America, even to play Rose's husband. And Mamma me, that's the biggest sacrifice there is. <laughs> but anyway, I'm I'm sitting here waiting for immigration man, and I through the window I see Pasquale, and I see him in the store talking to Rosa, telling her how to help. Don't worry, Mrs. Lane. You babies in a safer hands. Have a good time in the movies. Thank you very much. I know the baby will be good. <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs> well, Rosa, now's your big chance. Go in and show Luigi how nice it feels to be married to you. Talk a sweet to him. Hold his hand. Break him in a good. I'll sit on his lap. I said to break him in a good, and not break him in a little of peace. <laughs> if you do a good job, and maybe he'll propose, and I won't have to put the clamps on him. <laughs> Already I started the rumor you and Luigi is married, he's got a little baby. <laughs> you happy, baby? Yes, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Babies are laughing. Come on, we all go into Luigi's place now. All right, Papa. Come, baby. Rock a bye, baby. On the treetops. When the bow breaks. Oh, oh, look. Hello, little baby. <laughs> hello, hello, my son-in-law. And I wait, wait, Pasquale. It's the only make-believe, huh? All right, all right. But wouldn't it be nice if I have a little bambino of your own? I'm not talking. <laughs> Hey, look, Pasquale, you think immigration the fellas are going to think that this baby is a belonging to us? Why not? Well, Russ and me, we, we both got a black hair. Babies have got a red hair. <laughs> what are we going to tell an inspector? Tell him the baby's sunburned. <laughs> oh, shut up, you face. It's a good thing I'm here. Luigi, don't worry. You let me do the talk. All right, Pasquale. Hey, hello, little baby. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you like something to eat, huh? Uh, <laughs> how you like a how you like a smashed up a banana with the milk, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> then maybe maybe some some oats and milk. Well, well, I don't like it neither, but. But then I'm I'm a got nothing else. Hey, wait, wait. How's about some some pizza? Huh? <laughs> That's my baby, all right. <laughs> Don't you just love infants? Yeah, especially when they're babies. <laughs> Please, be a mama and don't talk. <laughs> hey, wait, look, here comes somebody. All right, all right, be calm, relax, and just remember, Luigi, I'll see you while you're going to be baby and Rosa the same thing. Yes, Papa, this is my wife and my baby. Yeah, oh, <laughs> uh, I'd like to see Mr. Luigi Basco. Hi, mister. Oh, you'd like to see Mr. Basco, huh? Yes, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's uh, me. Well, how do you do, Mr. Basco? I'm from the... That's all right. We know where you're from. We expected you. How's about a nice piece of fruit cake? Well, how nice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, here, come on. Take a plenty. Eat the whole cake. <laughs> oh, what a lovely family. 
I like to see nice families, Mr. Basco. It's the sign of a stable person. (laughs) (laughs) Baby, baby, what's the matter? Here, what's this, uh, what's this the baby's eating? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a piece of toast. But uh, maybe an anchovy is a full on the top of it. Hmm, he's a nice little baby. He is a boy, isn't he? Huh? <laughs> I said he's a boy, isn't he? I think so, yes. <laughs> what? Hey, Pasquale. I think so, too. <laughs> I think he was an octopus. <laughs> and what a boy. Why, he's the image of his dad. Uh, well, he's got his father's, uh... Mm, frankly, Mr. Basco, he doesn't look a thing like you. Huh? I was, uh... Oh, oh, well, uh, well, you see, when he was uh, born, I was uh, out of town. <laughs> uh, 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 <clears throat> well, anyway, I hope you understand the responsibility you've undertaken to care for a wife and a child, Mr. Vasco. Oh, yeah, sure, I'm a no, I'm a no, I'm, and I'm a want to, you should know that I'm a good citizen. All of them married up and settled down. Sounds very good. Mr. Vasco. Oh, oh, hello, Horowitz. How can we ever praise you enough for what you did? What I did? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh sure, oh, that's a nothing, that's a nothing. Nothing, nothing, he says. You hear that? Yes. Who do you know who gave four pints of blood to the Red Cross in one day? You gave four pints in one day, Mr. Vasco. Well, uh, I was uh, felt a little uh, full. You... <laughs> <laughs> there stands the greatest man in America today. Goodbye. <laughs> Mr. Vasco, it's a pleasure to hear things like that. Oh, is it nothing? Last week I gave half a gallon. <laughs> However, Mr. Basco, you've got to be careful about weakening yourself. You have a responsibility, you know. Oh, sure, I know. And I hope you're protecting that responsibility like any other good American, Mr. Basco, with insurance. Insurance? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. I'm going to get a $1,000 life insurance. Only a thousand? Oh, don't worry. Luigi's going to get a lot more. He's going to take out at least $10,000 or more insurance. Well, that's more like it. Now, I don't want you to get worried, Mr. Basco, but I'm going to be filling out this form as we go along. No, I'm going to mind uh, as long as you're happy. Yes, as long as you're happy. Here, have another piece of fruit cake. Uh. And if it makes you feel better, you could consider Luigi good for $25,000 insurance. That's an important man, eh? Important enough for me. As a matter of fact, I think our interview can be finished. Oh, that's a good. You see, Mr. Vasco, I have a great deal of facts about you which you didn't even know I had. Sure, sure, but uh, everything is uh, fine now, huh? Mr. Vasco, how can we ever thank you oh, enough? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I have been delegated by the National Office of our YMZA. Yes, sure, sure, everything is all right. Now. To visit you in person, unconvey the heartfelt gratitude of our entire membership. For the $10,000. Sure, this is not necessary. Which you have donated for the care of bachelors like yourself. Yeah, but it should sure stop and look. Bachelors who look up to you for the American example which you have set. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, where did you get that baby? Where do you think? Rose says he's a wife and this is his baby. <laughs> Himmel, am I for shimmered? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye and thanks for the money you gave the Y. Well, as I was saying, Mr. Basco, no point in my holding you up any longer. Everything is satisfactory. It is it? Sure, sure. You'll hear from us in a few days. Goodbye. Pleasure to have met such a lovely family. Goodbye. 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 Oh, well, Luigi, now you can see who you owe your gratitude to. Your friends almost ruin you. If it wasn't for me and a roast of the baby, you'd be in Italy by now. Hiya, yeah, Pasquale. I'm so thankful to you. I wish I could do something for you. <laughs> you can make the marriage official. No, no, Pasquale. No, you you said that there was just a make-believe. All right, Luigi. Be stubborn. Then I got to put the clamps on you. 
You better get him married, or I'm going to squeal at the immigration of the department that you lie. You're going to... No, 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 Pasquale, you couldn't. Oh, no? Rosa, take a letter. Uh, immigration of Bureau Italian Export Division. <laughs> Dear Mr. Export, uh, this is oh, the letter... Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, but I forgot a little formality. Mr. Basco, would you sign this blank? Just a minute, mister, give me the blank. Well, what do you say, Luigi? Or should I tear up at this nice blank that's to say... Application for $25,000. Wait a minute, Mr. Amy. Are you from the immigration company? What are you talking about? I'm from the insurance company. Mamma mia! No, Luigi, it's a my turn to say Mamma mia. Somebody told me about a young couple with a newborn baby, so I followed it up. Papa, you started that rumor. Oh, I could have killed myself. <laughs> Good evening. I'm from the immigration department, and I'm looking for a Mr. Luigi Basco. All right, I'm going to give up. What? Mm -hmm. Believe me, I'm no liar. I'm, I'm a got to know why. For this a baby, he's no mine. And I'm a never give a four pints of blood to the way I'm a CA. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, I, I don't know what's getting you so excited. I, I'm here merely to have an informal chat with you. What? This is the end of the year, and the immigration department is just making a routine checkup. Oh, and, and are you not going to send me back to Italy? Why, of course not. Oh, hey, Pasquale, you hear that? That's what my classes have told me in the first place. Now I'm going to stay here, and I'm going to have to get married. Now, wait a minute, Luigi. You ask this man, you're going to find out they like you even more if you got some deeper roots in the ground. Well, all right, all right, Pasquale. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to have the deeper roots. Luigi, my son, are you going to marry Rosa? No, Papa, I'm going to plant the onions. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm, I'm had a very exciting and a worried time, but in the end, uh, everything is a turn out all right. And uh, mamma mia, next time I'm right to you, that's uh, going to be 1951. So I want to say that I hope the new year is uh, going to be a good year for you and everybody at the home and everybody here. In this wonderful America that is loved so much by your loving son, Luigi Pasco, Lily Magrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they want to remind you that it's a good idea to carry a package or two of Wrigley Spearmint Gum with you wherever you go. A stick of Wrigley Spearmint is a sensible, satisfying treat to enjoy between your meals because it isn't rich or heavy, yet it's full of delicious, long-lasting flavor. Besides, it freshens your taste and sweetens your breath. So remember to get some Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum next time you go to the store. And always keep a package or two in your purse or pocket so that you can enjoy a stick whenever you want. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Derman. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Paulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Oak. <laughs> Music is under the direction of Blood Gus. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.